Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to talk about going live scheduled with a pre-recorded video to Facebook. So let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect to Facebook. And then from here, we're asked the question, how do you want to go live today? Well, I told you we're going to go live scheduled and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the schedule button. Uh, from here, we can totally choose when we want our videos to go live. Now, Facebook actually has a seven day limitation. That's why you can only see seven days. And if you try to go outside of that, you can see that we've got a slash through it, right? And, uh, but any of these other days, one week out, we can actually schedule to Facebook. So for this example, I'm actually going to be going out of town soon. So I'm going to, let's say, schedule a video for Monday. And what's really nice about this is we have some options here. Uh, we can show the schedule notification or we can turn it off. And so like right now, I've turned it off. Now you might wanna do this in the case like, let's say we wanna uh, schedule out a week's worth of content. So I might not want everyone to know when I'm going live and I might wanna make it look more spontaneous. So for example, 11.32, right? It's not at the top of the hour, it, it, or maybe I do 40, 46, right? Again, it doesn't, really matter. It's it's all dependent upon what you want to do. And if you want to make it look like you're kind of going live spontaneous. If you want to let people know ahead of time, then I would turn on show schedule notification. In fact, this is the default setting is just to leave it on. Um, this is then going to show uh, in the news feed on Facebook that I'm planning on going live. And so I might want to do, let's say at the top of the hour, you know, and let's do AM actually. The other thing I just wanted to talk about is using a custom thumbnail. Uh, the default will be, it'll just pull whatever is on your page that you're going live to or your profile picture. Um, some people just don't like the way those look. And this gives you the ability that you can come in here and choose a custom thumbnail. So I kind of like this picture here, so I can go ahead and choose that. Uh, this is a cool tool that gets you, uh, you can totally rearrange this box. You can resize it, you know, get it exactly how you want. I can go ahead and click save. And there it is. I think that looks great. So we're going to go live at 11 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and click schedule. And again, once you fill out your title and description, we're going to go ahead and click next. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and add the destination. And in fact, I'm just gonna go live to one of our testing groups today because I actually don't want this to go live uh, out into the world. Um, what else is cool about this is if you wanted to add multiple destinations, you could. Um, you can add a profile, you can add uh, groups, uh, more pages. There's so many destinations that you can go live to. Uh, but again, it's all dependent upon where you wanna go live, right? And so I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one page that I'm wanting to go live to. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And now from here, we're asked to upload our video file. Now, for the sake of time, I don't want to upload, but I could upload from my computer. I could upload from my Google Drive or Dropbox folder. Um, but I'm going to get to this in just a second. Um, but I've already uploaded my videos first into the incubator. Um, and it's nice because I can just choose this. And these are videos that are already on the server that I've already uploaded. And then I can choose like, oh, I want to go live with this video file. Success, your pigeon has been successfully scheduled. So if you look down here, I have a blue box because that's where we're going live is Facebook. The nice thing is it's color co coded, right? Facebook's blue. This box is blue. We have the logo here. It's showing the page that we were going to go live to, which is awesome. And again, this is inside the scheduled area inside of Live Pigeon. So the good thing about the scheduled area is to confirm that the time that you chose to go live is the correct time. It's going live to the right page. Um, this is showing that, you know, when it's counting down, you know, when it's gonna be going live, which is great. I can actually click on this image here, which is the video that I selected. And if you click on it, then it opens up into Facebook automatically. And the nice thing about this is this will let you know that your video has been scheduled successfully. So now if I scroll down here, you'll see that I plan to go live on Monday at 11 a.m., which was the same as what I had done here, 11 a.m. 
So it's always good to check to make sure that everything matches. That's that custom thumbnail I had already uploaded. Uh, everything looks good and ready to go. So I would recommend getting in the habit of clicking on these to make sure that it then takes you over to the destination that you're actually going to go live to. So for the, this example is Facebook. Um, and one other thing I wanted to point out was we talked about the incubator earlier. There's other videos that we have about the incubator, but this is your video library. And so any video that you upload into here, then it's stored here for about seven days. And again, it follows the same calendar uh, that we use to schedule inside of Facebook. And so uh, anyway, if you're going to be uploading a week's worth of content, so you can drag and drop your video files into here. And then what's nice is when you're connected up top to Facebook, you can actually just click these three dots and you can schedule your video from here. And then it's pre-selecting that video ahead of time, uh, which is pretty cool. So again, those are the ways in which you can schedule your content to go live to Facebook using the scheduled feature inside of Life Pigeon. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, things that we didn't cover in this video, want to point out that our contact information is at the bottom of almost every single page on Live Pigeon. Again, we want to make sure that we are accessible to you. If you run into any questions along the way or have any concerns or anything like that, either email us, call us, or you know, if you like to do the chat, you can always click on chat and chat with us that way. Um, Probably the quickest would be a phone call, but again, we are here to help serve you. We want to make sure that you feel that uh, and that you feel supported in your journey of getting your content out into the world. Again, my name is Brandon, and until next time.